one. And the winner tonight puts themselves tied in fourth in the Big West Conference as Ackerman looks to feed Lichty and the freshman out of Utah lifts the lid a minute in. Down low as well, tries to help as Whitfield with the oh feed. What a strip by Ackerman. But it tips out of bounds. How will Cal Poly generate offense against the lengthy defense of the Gauchos? Is Ackerman on go ahead off the bank, 8-6. Crucial game inside. In the Big West Conference, but the Highlanders chipped away. Forced OT, one on a buzzer beater as Richards from three gives Cal Poly their first tray here tonight. Cal Poly with a chance here to pull within one or tie the game as Richards open from three. That unorthodox shooting motion has a pair of threes and we're tied. Not made a basket in three minutes. They've been the benefactor of some foul calls and hoping to continue to do so as Borland up and under with some spin. It's been a lackluster day from the field. Four for 10 for Alexis Whitfield. She has shot often. Santa Barbara has picked up a ton of offensive rebounds as well. As Shaw finds open space and drains it, giving Cal Poly 31st. Annika Shaw, who has certainly seen her role change throughout her few years here, the junior from Palo Alto, as now offensive flurries come. Shaw back to McNicholas and one! That was a volleyball set by Shaw. What an amazing play. Anya McNicholas really set her team up for that play. With the packed into the Mod Athletic Center here in this rivalry Thursday. A day that only comes every four years, February 29th. A memorable night for one of these two as Carter posts from three and bangs it home. That's a big silencer for the crowd as well. Three points of contact. Gorgeous pass to Richards. That'll get the crowd back in it. Seconds left in this third quarter. Things have really settled down in this third quarter, hasn't that? Both yeah, teams. they're playing long shot clocks too. Yeah, the teams are finding the rhythm. Richards has looked spry. She now has. One thing though that Coach Styers talked about in that break, we can hear her say, pretend like you're down 15, not up 15. And that's a shot for a team chasing, not leading. Sydney Richards, amazing performance tonight. That's Deficit her. for the Gauchos. Ackerman wide open. She'll take that. Little opportunity here to push the lead to two scores. That last shot by Gauchos was really quick, even surprising for a little bit. Ackerman on Whitfield. McNicholas from distance. And a huge three for the Cornell transfer. Now Whitfield drives and she's rejected by Ackerman. The same split here in season two of the Steyer's saga. And that free throw will seal it. The Mustangs lead by seven. With six seconds to go. And a, and a turnover. McNicholas, the lay-in, just to drive the knife a little deeper into the rivals to the south. And Cal Poly shakes the webs from a few days ago and defeats UC Santa Barbara by nine. 